Another scientist featured is Dr. Dawn Wright. She maps the oceans, studies underwater volcanoes, as well as hot springs. Dr. Wright believes funding ocean science helps us understand our world. She's the chief scientist of the Environmental Systems Research Institute. And Dr. Wright is joining us now live via Skype from Redlands, California. Hello there. Hello there. Well, as you stated nice earlier, nice to meet you as well. You're the chief scientist of the Environmental Systems Research Institute. Tell us how your organization is helping the oceans. So uh, our organization, which is also called ESRI, is uh, one of the organizations providing the mapping uh, platform, the mapping software that so many agencies, including our National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, uses to map uh, the oceans from the sea surface all the way down to the sea floor. Uh, our software is used by the National Weather Service uh, to track and map uh, hurricanes and also to assist with uh, the uh, recovery of, uh, from natural disasters. Fantastic research, but really wh what prompted this? Why did you want to start studying oceans? Well, I grew up on the Hawaiian Islands, so, so that will do it. And I also was very inspired by the work of people like Jacques Cousteau and Sylvia Earle as a young person. And I understood very early on that uh, the oceans were a place of mystery uh, for so many of us. And given that this is our planet, this is our only planet, 70% uh, of it is covered with water, and we'd better get busy in terms of really understanding that 70%. So I wanted to play a role in that. So why do you think governments around the world should be invested in protecting our oceans? Uh, the oceans are uh, transnational. Uh, the, the oceans are these huge parts of the planet. Uh, that touch on so many countries. So uh, no one country, no one person or organization owns, really owns the oceans. We have to care for the oceans, understand the oceans, uh, protect the oceans, and live uh, within and near the oceans together. And uh, not only climate, is climate changing now, our politics are changing as well. The Democrats now have control of the House. So what do you think that means for perhaps science? I think for science, it's really nice, for instance, to have the House Science Committee uh, be led by someone who uh, understands the importance of science and who uh, understands also that climate change is real and that there is action that governments uh, need to take in order to uh, adapt to and to protect ourselves uh, as climate changes. So that's a, that's a very nice uh, start there. All right, great insight that you have there. Such an interesting project. Thanks so much, Dr. Don Wright with the Environmental Systems Research Institute this morning. All right, great.